Good morning. Thank you so much for watching my replay today. I'm so glad that you have chosen to push the button and watch the video. As you can see, if you've been with me before, I am in a new spot. I'm not in my car. Hi, Aisha. <laughs> I'm not in my car today. Good morning. I am not in my car. I am in my office at the church. <sighs> so, yep, that's where I am. I'm right here. <laughs> I um, Today was my son's uh, science fair project was due this morning. Hey, good morning, Mike. Um, Parker's science fair, a uh, science project was due this morning. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Carol. Carol Parker Gardner. You know, my mother's maiden name, Carol, was Parker. And so when I had my son, good morning, Dee. When I had my son, I d knew I was going to name him Parker because she always wanted a grandson named Parker. Hey, Chris, I was going to text you last night to ask you to share that uh, ladies leading worship with your with the ladies on your team. So there you go. I, I'm asking you now in front of everybody, Chris, <laughs> to please share ladies leading worship with the with the ladies that are on your team, because, it's, again, it's not just um it's not just for ladies who are over ministries of music, but ladies who are serving in the area of fine arts, um, creating an atmosphere for people to worship God. So, Chris, go ahead and share that for me. Okay, brother, I appreciate it. Um, Mike, what he did, he, Parker did a science project on crystallization um, and how to determine, well, he had to wanted to determine the best temperature for making the best crystals. So he had to put, uh, good morning, Sheena. Um, hey, Miss Lisa. Um, he used, uh, he put uh, glasses, a glass of, um, of borax and water solution in glass mason jars. Um, and he put one in the refrigerator, one in an ice bath, and one in, one in an ice bath, one in a refrigerator, and one in a room temperature. And so uh, we found that the room temperature one was the one that made the best crystals. So that was his project this morning. Well, we had to turn it in today. Hi, Miss Renee. I'm glad to see you, sis. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so, um, hey, no problem. Glad that you made it in, John. I'm glad you're here. John, would you please share with your with the ladies on your team, ladies leading worship? Um, and I said this to Chris, and let me just say this for everybody. You know, I've had a few people message me, which I think all of you all know, because we you meet me here, so you obviously know that um, Ladies Leading Worship is going to be an online live chat. It was awesome, Auntie D. <laughs> um, so it's an online chat. Hey, Marielle. Um, it's, it's a live chat, just like we do here, but instead it won't just be me. It'll be myself and Miranda, and myself and Candy, myself and Trinity. So like that every week. Um, but I had a few people... Um, good morning. Good morning, Yvonne. <laughs> we don't want you to get in trouble. Um, but I had a few people message me to say, oh, I wish I could come. I wish I could be there. I'm not in Florida. I'm not going to be there. But it's you can join in from anywhere in the world. And, um, you know, like I said in the video a couple couple days ago, you know, I love it because you can, you know, be in your room. You can be at your house, you can be cooking dinner, have your headsets in and just listening. And if you have a question, there will be a little button that you can push to raise your hand. Um, you can, we'll have an online chat just like what we have here. Um, and you'll be able to communicate and ask questions um, along the, along the, um, along the, the, the night for the evening. So uh, if you know, if you are, all of you that are part of this, this worship leaders, uh, let's chat session, I really, really believe that you will be blessed um, by being a part of Ladies Leading Worship. So, and even if you can't join it, maybe your schedule, or you could be by the beach. <laughs> you totally could. So, you know, uh, guys, if you are here and you, you, of course, we love you, but you are not invited, but we love you. <laughs> Sp 
sponsor a lady, sponsor a, a young lady that you know is either in the choir or on the praise team or serving in the AV department or a part of the dance ministry. Be, you know, be a blessing to her and, and sponsor her. Uh, maybe she wanted to be a part but can't afford it. So, you know, pray about sponsoring a young lady for ladies leading worship. Okay. All right, so let's get started today. Um, very, very, very clearly, two days ago, I heard the Lord say, communication, <laughs> communication. And, um, you know, just in preparing for today's session, boo you, John, we love you. There's going to be stuff for you, though. <laughs> Uh, but very clearly, I heard the Lord say communication. And so today we're going to talk about communication just for about 10 minutes. Um, so communication, uh, and this is what the Lord has shared with me, that it's very important to God. Communication is very, very important to God. When we, um, the very first thing that we learn about God is is, is something that he said. He spoke the world into existence. Um, side note, registration deadline is March 11th at 1159. So the night before, you can register up till up until the night before. Um, it is gonna be, it's limited seating. So, and I know a lot of people are probably waiting till Friday because it's payday week. It's payday week, we get paid Friday. <laughs> uh, but don't, you know, I just don't want you all to miss um, an opportunity to get in because it is limited li limited uh, access, I should say. Amen. Uh, okay. Uh, God bless you, sir. Thank you so much for joining us today. So uh, back to communication. Oh, it's very, very important to God. You know, our pastor, he does this, um, he does this thing. And I encourage you all to, to take, a, take a moment to read um, Genesis chapter 1, starting at verse 3, all the way down to verse 31. Um, if you were to read the first three words of, of the verses, you would see that God said, he says, and God said, and then it says, and God said, and God said, and God said, and God said, and then God said, and every time he said something, he did something, he created the world. But then at verse 31, it says, and God saw. This is the first thing that we learn about God, that he said, he said, he said, he said, he said, and then he saw. So that lets us know that, that our ability to speak and to form our worlds and to form, um, even like Mike said here, for relationships, communication is very, very important. And so God has given us the same ability. And Mark 11 Mark chapter 11, verse 23, um, it says here, and I pulled it up on my Bible gateway because I'm at work and I'm right in front of my computer also. Um, it says, for verily I say unto you in the King James Version that whatsoever, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass, he shall have whatever he says. So we say a thing, and as we say a thing, we begin to do it. We say it, we speak those things, and what we begin to speak, we in, begin to do those things that we say, right? And as we begin to do those things that we say, then we will soon see what we have been saying. We speak those things, we say things. Hey, Marcel, we speak those things, we say things that we want to see, and as we say them, we we begin to do them. We begin to do. We find ourselves doing the things and working towards the things that we're saying that we want to see. And then we will eventually see what we have been saying. So faith comes by hearing, right? Hearing comes by the word of the Lord. We have the Lord speaking to us. He's communicating to us. And this is why it's so important to get to a place where you can hear the voice of God and you can sense his Holy Spirit speaking to you and leading to you, leading you. So we get to a place where we hear the voice of God and we begin to speak those things that we hear God say to us as we're praying, as we're making affirmations, we're making declarations. We say those things and then faith comes, right? Faith comes. We, we're building our faith because of what we're hearing. And then faith then does not really become faith until we start doing the thing that we're, we're believing God for. Because faith without works is dead. Faith without works, without action, is not faith. Faith without action is not faith. 
you say, you hear the voice of God communicating to you and, com- and speaking to you. And then you begin to say those things that you are hearing that God has put in your heart. You say those things. Faith then begins to build in you. And then you begin to act on those things that you are hearing. You begin to act on those things that you are saying, right? And as you act on them, all of a sudden, you'll be walking in that thing that you have been speaking and believing God for. Communication, that's what we're talking about, communication. So right here, and I'm just thinking about, I'm just realizing this. The communication first is from God to us. The communication first is from God to us, right? And then we're speaking what we're hearing God say. It's not magic. It's not some hocus pocus thing that, you know, for so long we have... um, We've taken this 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 one scripture and we just think that we can just speak it and speak it and speak it and say it and say it and say it and say it until you see it, say it. But then but there is something that has to happen in between there. There's got to be some action. There's got to be some work that you've got to put in place before you see those things come to pass. Right. So, for example, if you were sick in your body and you're believing God for health, you're believing God to heal you. Well, you're speaking and declaring I'm healed. I'm the healed of the Lord. You can be healed and and declaring, you can be declaring that all day long. But if you're still driving through the drive through at Wendy's and McDonald's and still putting, you know, the bad stuff in your body and you're not faith without works is just good idea going to waste. Absolutely. If you're not working your faith and, and, and putting those things to, that you're believing for God for and that you're saying, if you're not working your faith, then it's not going to happen. You're just, it's not going to be just some magic thing that just takes place. You've got to work your faith. Again, we're talking about communication. So God speaks to us. We say those things. We declare his word. His faith builds on the inside of us. And we're working the faith, right? And then we'll begin to see those things come to pass in our lives. Even with God, God spoke and he created. He spoke, he created, he spoke, he created. And then he saw and he said, this is a good thing that he has done. Right. So communication matters to God. This is how we get his promises in our life. We hear what he's saying. We speak what he's saying. We believe in our heart and we don't doubt. And we and then we'll see whatever it is that we've been believing God for. So let me transition to this then. How are you communicating to your team? How are you communicating with the people that you are in relationship with? What are you speaking to them? What are you saying to them? Yes, Mike, we have to practice stewardship over our health, over our finance, over our finances, basically godly principles. We have to it's, we have to practice these the stewardship over our over those different areas of our lives. Absolutely. And over our relationships and and not just relationships one on one, but the relationships that we have with our teams. What, how are you communicating with them? Are you communicating with them that we are a team? That we are a family, that we are here for each other, that we um, that we're not just, you know, we're not just an island by ourselves, but we're here for each other. Come on. Speaking of communication and teams and all that good stuff. Anthony's walking in the door right now. Hi, brother. Hey. How are you? Good. I'm talking about communication this morning. Are you watching the drive again? You was It's okay. Well, come sit. I'm talking about communication and how I'm so glad you did that off the camera. <laughs> but just how, you know, you know how pastor does that thing where he says, and God said, and God had said, and God yes. said, and God saw. And just talking about how, y'all say hi to Anthony, it's my brother. Hello, everyone. Are we wearing the same glasses? No. No. Okay, it's all right. It's all right. Um, but that went in, even after God said that he created and then he saw. Mm. So it's like, you know, you, you God speaks to us. We hear what he's saying to us, but then we have to, and then faith comes. And with faith coming, we have to put into action what it is that we're believing God for, we're hearing, right? Um, But so now we're talking about communicating with your team. And I was asking what it is, they're saying hi, (laughs) what it is that you are communicating with your team. Um, What is the language of the land? What is it that you're speaking to them? Are you speaking you know, team building? Are you speaking unity? Are you speaking faith? Are you encouraging them to see, you know, what it is that that God has shown our pastor? Because sometimes 
God will show your pastor something and you can't really see it or the team can't really see it. You pray, you ask God to help you see what it is, that, where he's going. And then you communicate that to your team. What is it that you're communicating? What is it that you're believing God to see for your team? You've got to speak those things and encourage them and let them know this is where we are going. You know, this is we're all here for the same purpose, and that is to glorify God. And so through that, you know, out of glorifying God, God gives us vision. He gives us purpose. He gives us an assignment for the areas of, of, of land and and, um, and uh, 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 territory that we're in. And so we've got to speak, begin to share that vision and share that um the purpose and the and the and communicate with your team what it is what you, where you're going. So, um, and that is not just off the stage, but on the stage as well. How are you communicating to your team on the stage and while you are ministering? What? How are you making sure that everybody is on the same team? That everybody knows where you're going. That everybody is going in the right direction. So for me, I use hand signals. You know, we'll do a you know chorus, verse, going back, bridge. Go on to the top of the song, end it, unison, three parts. Communication is so important. If there's something that happens that maybe you miss miss a, a part or you miss a... Mm, remember you remember Sunday? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and there was a little mishap? There was. Yeah. And he got himself together, right? And then you wrapped it all up and you said, we're going back to the verse again. Yeah. It's okay to own it. It's you, gotta a, own it. you gotta own it, right? You gotta own up your mishaps, mo own up your mistakes. Let's try that again. Let's try a verbal cues. Mm -hmm. Verbal cues. How we're again, we're talking about communication. How are you communicating with your team on the stage and off the stage? On the stage. On the stage and off. It's very important too, if I may say. Yep. Um, what as far as communicating verbally, am I shadowing? I feel like I'm getting a shadow. But it's, he's it's a video very, editor as it's, well. It's very important <laughs> that not only is what what they're hearing you, but also what are they seeing from you. If they mm. see defeated, they see ah, uh, your countenance fall. They just discourage them in so many ways. If they see a leader that's dry, that's very, uh, you know, versus a leader that's excited about what it is that they're doing. Whether even in that moment of leading worship, you know, I'm 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 all over the place. I'm all over the stage. So. How dare the people behind me just stand still? Most, I guarantee you, nine times a ten, if that that energy level that you have, they're going to support that. They're going to 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 see that. What are they seeing? You know, um, I'm just a I'm a believer of driving your bus, yeah. driving the bus yep. as a leader, being the one out in the front, being the example, be the the you know they they say now be the change you want to see, yeah. be the example that you want. Be the, uh, the the vision that you want to That's see. Good. Be that person, and um, whether you're wh whether you're leading worship, whether you're in giving instruction, giving vision. But if you have a heart, if if it is why it's important for us also as, as leaders to always keep our hearts pure. You know, keep our hearts clean because if we have something against. Somebody in leadership, if we have Flicks. something against something, yeah. that stuff is going to spill out. Yeah. It's going to spill out. You might not say it, but it's very hard to fake it. You know. And can I just and don't forget where you're going with that because we are human, and there are times when there are there's there are issues where you you might have something. Mm -hmm. You might have something in your heart against your leader. God forbid. Yes. But just being real, we're worship leaders here. Sometimes you might have a thing. You know what I'm saying? But, but that's right. why you're saying you, you got to keep your heart pure. You got to keep it pure. It's okay to be angry. Yes. You know, but don't sin in that. Right. You know, don't. I have the anger with my with, with a leader, but I'm going to talk to somebody else about it and tell, yeah. tell a whole bunch of other people. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And that, that that's when we kind of get into the, the, the dark areas of yes. our heart, you know, rather yes. than just, hey, I have Take it to you. God and ask God. Take it to God. Take it to the person. Deal with it right. as as quick as possible. And, I mean, I know every situation is, is different. So, I And mean, that just goes right along the line of communication. <laughs> communicating. You know, you got to stay, stay, keep, keep, keep an open, open lines of communication with the Lord, with your leaders, with the people that you are serving, you know, and it, and it leaves, it leaves, little room for for those dark areas of your heart yeah. to to be magnified yeah. you know that's good
All right, guys. Well, it is 849. It has been about 20 minutes. Good word, good word. Amen. It was good. So I hope that you enjoyed this time. I'm so glad that my brother dropped, walked in. <laughs> See y'all. Y'all have a great day. Yep. All right, folks. Have a great day. Listen, if you have not registered for Ladies Leading Worship yet, don't wait till the last minute. Re remember that um, space is limited. Space is, there's not many times I wish I was a lady. Uh, no. I suppose you that. just go. Let me go. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go. <laughs> you want to be a part. It's okay because uh, John Polk was on here and Mike Harris and they both were like, boo. But uh, they're going to sponsor a lady. You're going to hey, so into it. I love you too, Marcel. They're going to sponsor a lady. Marcel Joseph created that amazing flyer for me. If anybody needs uh, flyers or anything like from anywhere over the world, um, tag Marcel Joseph and he will get you right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That is awesome. Yeah. So they're, they're sewing into somebody. They're sewing into somebody. Um, I'm, I'm going to say that on this point. Just like what Miss uh, LaRue is what fine. LaRue said. <laughs> so I'm like, are they, are you faster than ever? I don't know. I'm just LaRue, <laughs> just fine. <laughs> I had a word this, this week, and the word was um, sowing uncommon seed. Sowing uncommon seed this week, and just watch God move in your life. So I love that. So I'm going to get on that. We're going to pray about that. We're going to. So an uncommon seed. How much is a wig? What if Mike Harrison? A wig. I don't know oh, what Mike. Oh, said. I was just playing. Mike, we're not gonna do that. We oh, don't do that, man. We don't. I was just playing. I'm just playing, man. We're gonna play basketball, man. We're gonna play rugby this weekend. And you're gonna sow an uncommon and seed. And we're gonna sow an uncommon seed for a, a lady to to register and go to ladies' leading wor worship. Yeah, poor Marcel. I know you were, but but thank you so much. Where can you find the info for it, Erica? I'm going to tag it again. But if you when we end this uh, broadcast, you can just scroll right on down and you'll see uh, the flyer for it. But also, if you go to LaRueLive.com, that's will take you straight to registration. Um, again, guys, you can people can register from anywhere in the world. So if you know a young lady who is in California and she don't mind getting on the, the chat three hours, you know, because it'll be Eastern, Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> Tracy Clark, get out. <laughs> it's like a Joanna man wig. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you know, again, you can so you can join. Ladies can join from anywhere on the world around the world. Thanks, D. Uh, if you go to LaRueLive.com and uh, it'll take you where you can register. And yeah, so don't miss it. Starts a week from yesterday, Monday, the 12th at 830 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The, all right, Bahamas, China, come on. I see you, girl. Mariel, check your email. I sent you another email, so don't forget to, uh, to do that thing on the email for me. <laughs> all right, guys, have a fantastic day. I love you much. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.